Okay. Yes. So, of course, season five is not going to be live per se. But we definitely got some preparation on the motherfucking way. As you can see, Kai Storm is in the building. Motherhood sex marijuana is in the building. Shoot. Fuego magazine is in the building. Shop.spreadshirt.com slash MSM gear is in the building. Everybody is in the building. And season five will bring new conversations, new topics to talk about, new subscribers, new money in this bitch. That's all we interested in in 2023. Increase in direct deposits. G, stop playing. Stop playing. Motherhood sex marijuana.com. We in the building season five. Show up and show out. And if you want to get down with the with us, hit us up. All right. Later, people. We in the building, season five. Let's get it. Kai, it's great to see you. It's great to see you too. Shoot, and yes, Ruby Doll is right in the bill. It's coming in right now, so we can we can get this started. Yes, yes, yes. In it on. Uh, I'm smoking uh, it up. Uh huh. Oh yes, that's another thing I was doing while we was, we was waiting for Ruby. I was getting my motherfucking roll on, make sure that I'm prepared and ready. Ruby Doll in the building. Hey, four nineteen. All right, yes. <laughs> What's up? Good to What's see you. On? Good to see you guys. One second, I'm just getting my shit together. Yes. The producer's in the bedroom. Okay, cool. Shoot, she's getting herself together too. You know what I'm saying? No, and, she's and... actually uh, she's playing video games and watching the dogs. Okay. <laughs> Either way, she's being productive. <laughs> Shoot. She's, getting that, she's getting that bed ready for uh after the session. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shoot. And yes, now that Ruby Doll is here, motherhood sex man sex wanna is wanna. in the motherfucking building. What's right up? on. Great yes, to see you, ladies. Nineteen, and yes, this is episode two. So it, this will. Uh, so yes, you are again part of our legacy. You starting right up in the beginning of our season, and yes, I'm glad that Ruby Doll made this interview happen because, baby, I'm trying to get all up in your business because <laughs> no, 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 hold on, player, because I noticed. <laughs> That, you know what I'm saying? Because I move fast on the internet. I'm going to let you know. On social media, I move fast. You know what I'm saying? It has to catch my attention. And then I roll on because I got shit to do. I got I got places to be. Right. But I noticed that certain people not <laughs> only was, was firing people on Twitter. We was, we, 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 we I, I don't even think we on Twitter no more. I think we fired Twitter all together. So I'm trying to understand what had happened? What? what <laughs> where, 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 how we turned that? That we de we decided to fire people on Twitter, and and, and now we fire in Twitter. Like what? What? Tell us the whole story. Why? At, at while, of course, introducing yourself because you know what I'm saying new audience, new new people might not know exactly who you are. So yes, tell us who you are, and then get and let us get all up in your business. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Right on. Well, I am Michael, the creator of 419, who does most of the voices and pretty much everything else for the show. Yeah. Uh, 419 Studios, LLC. I will be doing uh, a number of shows out of it in the future. But right now, I am sticking with 419 and going hardcore, man. I mean, this is it. We've been talking big money and everything. We're going full-blown 
if you love it, you do it. You don't give up. And I've been in the last year through so many things, like you said, especially with Twitter. I'll fire Elon Musk's ass right now in his face. <laughs> I will. This commercial that I'm putting out is going to be so kick-ass that I will rejoin Twitter without paying because I'm paying for Discord. I'm paying for Discord for my fans, for the fans of the show. I'm not going to pay someone else. No one else is getting my money. It's going to be for the fans. Okay, well, and hopefully in the future I make money, you ladies that work for the show, you know what I mean? Right. But, you know, right now the money has to go into the show. It has to roll back into it. And the fans are part of the show. In my opinion, that's, you know, you got to do it. Social media became too much. It became to where I am being way too communicative, you know, communicative, I guess. You know, I'm talking too much to people on social media, especially Twitter, and not doing my job with it. And that, was, that was happening, okay, big time. Then, of course, you're talking about firing people. And I will just say this to be very professional about it. He is not eligible for rehire. Any studio calls me, Sylvester so calls me, anybody calls me, he is not eligible for rehire. I would not trust the man as far as I could throw him. And I could probably throw him pretty far. Hmm. That's, that's my opinion. And that's keeping it professional. But <clears throat> okay. If you're going to be talking to somebody on the side of the show or a side of your business, like friends. Okay. You're going to get into each other's business life, you know, know things about each other. Right. But then at the same time, we're working together and I ask you to do something. Hi, you know this because I said there's a catchphrase. I need you to say a certain catchphrase. And you said, so this is something that has to be said. Wait, wait, Michael, yes, Michael, hold prayer. on. Michael, prayer. hold on. Um, cause uh, cause the sound is going in and out. So uh, so maybe you need to maybe speak up a little bit because we're not catching everything. Okay. Let me try. How's that? Is that a little better? Is that louder? Okay. All I have to do is touch the mic and yeah. <laughs> okay, so. It's, it's about it, when you're working with somebody else and you, you're you communicating lines and everything, as you know, Kai, when I spoke to you about the lines where it's a catchphrase, okay? Right. If there's a catchphrase that I want to be known, like Bart Simpson had catchphrase, you know, I, there's a lot of characters that have catchphrases. They get known, they make big, they make money for the show, these catchphrases, because they go on t-shirts, right? Exactly. You, you were very cool. You were like, okay, so I get that. It's a catchphrase, right? That's professional on the side of talking to you as a friend i bring up something professional you say cool we move on that's how it's supposed to work right with this other being it did not happen like that. and that's really how i want i don't want to get into details but i said please don't do this you know i'm going to do something for you i'm going to work hard for you i'm going to do a favor for you okay right and then you're going to keep that a secret and you're going to move on you're going to enjoy that favor. You're going to take it and have a good time. I don't care what happens. It's your favor now. There you go. Have right. a great day. Don't tell everybody right then, like the next day, that you didn't do the favor, or the thing I did. You know? And then kind of make a big deal about it, like it sucked. And the person you sent it to that's a big wig actually liked it. Now you look stupid, don't you? Because the person you sent it to, it's like a big director or something, said, this is good work. If you ragged on it the second you got it, that favor. So I went, no, I can't do this anymore. This is social media actually brought me into this. It brought me into you ladies, which is beautiful. Okay, I will always thank Twitter for that. Okay, because I was from Twitter. This as well. But it also brought me to the friends of 419. And then it brought me to the bad of the business, which was him. So in that experience. Okay, so I went, I actually told Amanda, I kind of want to post, and this is where I knew that I had to get off of posting social media, because <laughs> I said, I almost want to post, I'd rather just work with women. I'm sorry, I don't want to work with men, you know, because my experience has been, they're not as professional in the business. And that's my experience so far. That's the truth, not lying. I could actually prove it. Don't have to, but I'm just saying, okay? I love you ladies. I absolutely love you ladies. <laughs> so, you know... Working with you is so great that my plan for you is to get you both a blue microphone. And that's a blue that makes the same one that I'm using, okay? Right. It's not the same model. It's not as expensive. It doesn't need to be. You do podcasts. You can plug it into your phone, your computer. It's round. It's cool, man. They are cool as shit, right? And you can just have it like anywhere in your purse, pop it out. I mean, podcasters, they use this a lot, you know? 
Mm-hmm. I would like to get you ladies both one. That's what I was thinking about. So when we start season three, you can pop it in, you know, do your thing real comfortable as you do. Have some great sound. It comes with an app that you can change your sound. You know what I mean? How you feel about it. And it'll kill noise in the background. That's the biggest thing. It, it'll help me a lot with it. And for me to get that for you, it's the company doing it. So actually, it's a tax write-off, man. That's a deductible. So it doesn't even hurt me. You know what I mean? Right. Or man. We're planning for it. We're also well, planning also, yeah, for a workstation best. computer. So I want to get... I'm going to go through, I found out, man, this is so cool you asked this. because I want, I've been dying to tell you ladies this, but this is what I'm waiting for right here, your show, okay? Right. Let everybody know, all right? So I looked at the program I'm using, and it doesn't force you to use a Mac like everybody else, okay? You still want a badass, but it doesn't force you to use a Mac. It can, you can use a Windows computer. Mm-hmm. That helped me immensely because I can get a workstation from Dell, who we already have credit with in the future, and have a much better computer for the animation. Right. And the program that I'm using will be more geared to be worked with on that type of computer. You know, that video card, that CPU, you know, the processors, what I'm saying, memory, things like right. that. I know, that, sorry, I got geeky. That, that's part of the business. I got to be a nerd sometimes, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I mean, that it, it, it's, a, it's a clear explanation of what you're doing. And we definitely wanted to hear that. And of course, we absolutely, you know, like I said, we I, I wanted to get in your business because I, I really di- I didn't see you on Twitter anymore. And then, of course, like I saw little bits and pieces of, uh, of you talking about this guy <laughs> and, and, you know, and, you know, what, he, what happened be- between you and him. And, and, and it was just like, it seemed to me like, obviously, he did something that you that you wasn't really, you know, feeling. Therefore, you know, you let him go, which, you know, I mean, that's what happens in business sometimes. You know what I mean? Because right. when we started this podcast, it was it was a whole bunch of, you know, women that 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 we, you know, we gathered around to to to, you know, to get this idea off but little by little they were you know they you know they couldn't stand up to the task so therefore it was just something that me and ruby took on you know what i mean i mean that's just you know these are the breaks you know what i mean some people and some people keep going with you and some people fall off but and you kind of wonder and, I, and i'm definitely glad to see that you're back though because I, I did, you know, there was a time, a, a, a certain time where you were talking about, you know, I'm not sure if I should continue this. So the fact that you, you know, you found your energy again and you found new ways to put yes. out the content is yes. is definitely encouraging. And, and you know, yes. and I see you getting love on, tw- on, on YouTube about it. So as long as yes. you get love on YouTube, I think it's good for you. And it, yeah, it wasn't you know, just that. There was a time when, in between now, okay, I'm trying to tell, you know, people I work with, for example, the gentleman that, you know, we're just speaking of, you know, hey, man, I'm not ready for what we're talking about. What my show is not ready, then I need a better 3D program. And then it'll come back to me. People say, no, 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 it's perfect. Just do it the way it is. And listen, you're not the one making the show. You're not the one sitting here for 12 hours a day doing the animation, the voices, you know working with other people's voice, you're not doing it, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's not good enough. It's not. And it'll never be taken seriously if I don't take it more seriously. I can love it. I can, it's my family, it's my life, and if you have to love it. It's it's like I told Ruby Doll, 98% of the time, I am so in love with this show, making this show, being a part of this, just, you know, everything about it, you know, learning, doing it, man. But there's that 2% that's really a pain in the ass and frustrating. I mean, it is. It comes in and, and it can, you can feel like, can I, I'm 52, can I do this? Can I learn this? You know, it's, I look at Amanda, I go, hey man, look at this. Is this, is this good? You know, or is it, you know what I mean? Am I, am I making progress? Because if I'm not, why am I doing this? Why am I going to push forward and hire people in the future? You know, if, if, I'm, if this is a joke and I'm never going to be able to, you know, really catch how to do this. So I just kept working with it. Took a break. I'd game for a day or two, didn't touch it. And then I'd come back and I'd work with it a little more, you know? And I'm trying different things. I'm failing. I'm failing over and over again, man. I am not making any progress, right? But I can't give up, you know? It's like, it's there, man. You know you can catch this. You're not an idiot. Catch this, okay? Just keep trying. And take a break when it gets to be where you need a punching bag. Break. Go kill something in the game. Do some work around the house. 
get back into it. This took about a week, two weeks. To me, it was like 15, 20 years in creator time. No shit, man. It, it hurt. It hurt. I felt like I was not going to be able to do this. I'm stuck. I'm going to have to hire people to do this? No, man. You hire people to do this after you succeed. <laughs> not when you do it. I, uh, I want to just intervene real quick because my <laughs> when I was feeling really down and it had nothing to do with any businesses. I just was at a, my mental health wasn't okay. Michael was just such a light, you know what I mean? And I only usually talk to Kai and a couple of people, but I had just met you and Amanda, I remember, and you were giving us some scripts. And then I think you noticed that I wasn't as gung ho. I was kind of just like, a little quiet, you know, mm. and it's because, um, you know, no offense to me, but I was just making some excuses. Like, I just don't feel, I don't feel like doing anything much less. I can barely smile from day. Cause I was going through the thick of something. Right. And right. so because of that, I do appreciate you and your light and your reminders, your gentle reminders that, Hey, this is just life shits. Mm. All of this shit is just life shit. It could be like a million and one different things and we could find a million and one th different things that are wrong or whatever mm. that we're not doing. But why aren't we focused on what we are doing? And so I just yeah, want right. to thank you for that, Michael. Oh. Um, sometimes, cool. yeah, sometimes we have to like remind ourselves too. And um, I'm so glad, just like Kai said, I'm so glad that you haven't given up. Um, what is this Pardon. called? Um what uh, intellectual property is genius work. You have to make something from nothing. You know what I'm saying? For Christians out there, think of it as like God making the universe. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yes. Making something from the void and building worlds from it. And so it's no easy undertaking. It's very difficult when you're the only one that gets it. And thank God mm -hmm. you have a partner that gets it too. Mm -hmm. But sometimes our partner doesn't even get it. And that's okay. That's You've got to because it has to start from you, right? That's and right. um, and for whoever's like plugging in right now, this is Michael Fenton. He has a, he is a creative genius. He's a father. He's a husband. He's a puppy um, lover, you know. And he has <laughs> baby puppies and stuff like that. And there's so many different facets to him. Um, but one thing that we highlight is his show called Four Nineteen, uh, which is a brilliant show. It's brilliant because it's funny, it's original, there's nothing else like it, and it's something that can relate to all of us. Plus, there's some sexy-ass cast members, I must say. I'm just um, saying. Sexy I'm just motherfucking saying. voices, you know what I'm saying? And no, we're just so thrilled, and I think you're a great example to anybody who just wants to take something, whether, I don't give a fuck if you're like, a cupcake expert or you're like the best fucking ice cream maker whatever the fuck you're passionate about you take that's that's your lane and you take it and you're such a trailblazer i love that you mentioned that you're over 50 because i feel like 50 still young by the way but i feel like we don't do ourselves any favors by you know thinking that we're fighting against some expectation or some goal at some time you know by this date we mm -hmm. need to do this or that man fuck all that shit you know what i'm saying right. there's been countless uh, you know we're i'm approaching 40 kai's 50 and who gives a shit you know what i'm saying we're fabulous right right of but course. it will it's you you it's you that affects yourself when it comes with time and age and you have to remind yourself that man created time Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and don't put that limitation on. You know, people say, "Wait a minute!" In the Bible, which I'm not religious, but I don't. I always laugh about it. In the Bible, people lived 800 years. Right? They're like, they didn't have time. They didn't really take track of things. So, you know, how do you know how long they lived, right? Because right. they weren't like us. They weren't that advanced. Okay, their calendars sucked compared to ours. So. What if they lived 800 years of their lives? Who gives a shit how old they called themselves? They still lived their lives. Exactly. They still were people that lived on this planet and did things, man, just like us, right? So Yes, and there's power in motion. I feel like I was reading, I was watching something, scrolling <laughs> past something, and some um, spiritual leader was talking about cavemen and how 
his his theory is that cavemen did not experience depression and his theory is because they were in constant motion when you're in constant motion in something um i'm not saying like uh, ignoring the problem or anything but when you're constantly trying to develop your mind body and your spirit right. there's yeah. it helps with your mental health and so i don't feel and the more active i've been getting and um, the less excuses I've been making for myself, I noticed that I'm a lot happier. Keep and doing what you love, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because mm -hmm. yes. that's the one argument I will always have with my wife. She's corporate. Corporate people don't do what they love. They do what they know. Okay. Now, and what they need to do, yeah. They're locked into making the money and being comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. right. It's a mistake in their mind for any reason. That's where people like us come in. And if we can make the money another way, we can pull them out of that or give them a corporate world that's more fun. You know what I mean? Right. You know, which is what they tough actually right now. I mean, she does get to actually play with her grandbaby all day while she's working at my daughter's house. So it's not like it sucks completely, you know? Right. I'm just saying that it's not a friendly world. It is still corporate. You still have to deal with creeps, you know, people that have a call in, have problems with her employees, and she's got to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So there are not fun things. I picked up my tablet, okay, while we were talking. And the reason I did this was because we had spoken while we're all speaking, you know, over the phone or texting or anything like that. We had talked about, you know, working with other people. Will I be willing to? Ruby, I think you had said in the message. No, if you're willing, I'm curious, are you willing to work with other people? <clears throat> like, say, for writing or anything else. And I'm 100% into all of that. 100% into, like, Shit, you can direct if you want. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you can edit. You can you can animate my show if you know the show. You know what I mean? I will get, I will let somebody try anything, write an episode, you know? And that's why I picked up my tablet because this is the commercial. Written script. This script was written by what you have heard of, I'm sure, okay, the chat GPT AI, the artificial intelligence that has been turned on, on the internet. It is not conscious, but it is quite famous. Okay. Ryan Reynolds used this to write his, one of his commercials for his Metro phones, his, you know, the... Mint phones. phones. Right, so was, right. Correct, correct. So this, I went to, it's not, not like you go, hey, man, just write me a commercial for my show. Go look it up. It's like, All right, brother. <laughs> that is not how this works, okay? This is, this was first contact to me with another species. I had to be like, whoa, okay, how do I treat this thing? Let me look at what they say. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Hey, man, I write a show. It's called 419. It's probably laughing at me. It's an AI right now. I'm thinking um, it's about a dispensary. It's owned by a proprietor. He's got his best friend named Friend, you know, proprietors from the future. And it writes out a little script. And I go, ooh, no, where did you get that he hides his technology and all this? I didn't put anything, but you see... What it did was it created off the little bit of knowledge. It just didn't spew normal information. Huh. This thing created like a consciousness. It gave me something back that I could disagree with and go, no, man, that's not what I want. <laughs> Listen, this is what I want. So it tried so, again. And it so wait a minute. So you got an app that that's that's that you basically feed it some information and it kind of spits out a script for you? No, ma'am. This is an AI artificial intelligence, and it's on the computer you're on right now. If it decides to go full conscious, it can be watching you right now. Okay, that's oh. how powerful AI is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but this is not one that's conscious. This is not one that they've turned on. But we're allowed to all, me, you, anybody, if it's on the internet, you can go there, sign up to use it. Say, this is the big concern with it, by the way. You can go there if you need to write an essay for college. Mm -hmm. You can tell what the requirements are, and it'll write your essay. Right. There's no way to tell. There's no way to tell. It was written. So now academics can be cheated 100% because of this AI. Hmm. Okay. So now I heard this before I went and used it. I know everything I told you before I went and used it. I had to try it, man. Come on. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever read. Mm. Nice. <laughs> okay. I love the last line the narrator says. Now, this is going to be out before your show ends. So it's kind of a spoiler, but only for you kids. Okay. 
And everyone in Discord was able to read this entire thing because I'm reading this out of my Discord channel. Okay, so all the okay. friends of 419, they've seen this. The last line is, narrator, tune in to 419, where science fiction, comedy, and a message of hope come together, only on network or streaming service, you know, in parentheses. And I just, if that last line was what hit me first, because when it pops up, it pops up this way. And it goes up. So the, all these words popped up, and I saw that, and I'm like, whoa, message of hope, exactly. It's like this thing's reading my mind, you know? It's a guy. So when Absolutely. you look, I read this to Amanda, <clears throat> and she said, I can't believe that they <laughs> wrote that, you know? My throat's dry from that joint. And I said, it did. And when the world sees this commercial, they're going to go, wow, this is cool. This it really, I mean, it shows you the opening scene. It has all the narration. It has everything just like I had written the script, I think, better. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay? Nice. It's took my bullet points, and it wrote a script that when you ladies see this commercial, you're going to flip. You're going to go, this is so cool. And, of course, I'm not giving it all the work. I'm doing the animation. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, obviously, wow. yeah, because you, 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 you know what I'm saying. It's still, it, it's still working from your ideas, and it, it is, and it's spitting out a version of what you would, you know, what you would like as a script. And if, and if you don't agree with it, you can, you know, go in, edit it out, you know, figure it, you know, who your own Just tell it. In. But if it, but if you like exactly what it says, you can, like, yeah, I'm going with that. You. You chat with it as if I would chat with you right now. Say we were to get in the chat and start typing. That's exactly how it is. Only there's no, you know, there's no real emotion unless you type the emotion. But right. basically points, you know, it's, and, and when it wrote it and when it realized, because I'm like, you know, he came back to show that marijuana, what saves the futures, what saves the earth and humanity. And that's when the third one came out and it said all that. And I went, oh, yeah. And it, it showed me. <laughs> it tells me how to. This is this is great. I'm literally creating my commercial through what a, an AI wrote. I'm reading it and then designing the commercial. And then I'll read it and then my mind see it, design the commercial piece. And you're seeing it. The things that you're seeing on Instagram, that everyone's seeing right now. That's what Chat AI wrote. And that, that that's what you're seeing. It's just to me, that's what says it's so mind boggling because this is not a human. This is not some guy sitting behind on the other side. This right. is code. It's code, man, you know? It's a bunch that's, of code. That's pretty dope. Yeah. It, maybe uh, this is how Warner Brothers did all of their shit. You know what I'm saying? All of their... <laughs> their uh, what is that called when you have like a preview, a movie preview? It kind well, of gets might your be, one, one of them might be Trailer. doing that shit now. Cause, but I mean, back in the day, they had to have real people. But right now, I, I could imagine it's some computers doing it. They're worried about people losing their jobs because of this. But hey, listen, I've reached out on Twitter. I can get vocal workers. You know, voice actors are very easy to come by. They're very, people want to have fun. You know, it's fun. They'll jump at it. But the one thing I can't get is anything else. You know, any other aspect I ask somebody, they go, nah, I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just voice act. Really? Okay. Well, that's cool. <laughs> but damn, you know, <laughs> kind of wish you'd do that if somebody else would. Um, Stoby one, Brian Stober, that I dealt with on Twitter first. I like him a lot. But the reason we don't work together isn't because of any kind of unprofessionalism or anything like that, really. It was more just because he is what we call, and I'm going to say it straight, I like you, I like you, Stoby Wan, if you're watching this, but, you know, a musician, man, and that's what we called him. Uh, we had guys like this that were mousy. And mousy means, like, say you're a rhythm guitar player, plugged in, the rest of the band's all jamming, you know, you got your guitar players, man, you got your guitar up there, he's rocking out, right, everybody's having a good time. And there's that guy on the rhythm guitar, he's like, he looks like he's really... Cranking it out, but if everybody turned off, you can't even hear it. He's on like one volume, right? right. <laughs> rings bending, right? He's got the skills. You can hear that he can play, but he's just not, he doesn't have it to turn it up. He doesn't have that gall. You know, he just, he's too nervous, okay? He's on stage, so he's already made that step, but he can't turn up. He's just too afraid. And that was Brian. Brian would give me his vocals, and they'd be so masked. That I go, man, you don't have to do that. You sound great without, you know, all the filters and weirdness that's coming <laughs> the auto-tune on your microphone. 
Uh, okay. And, and he's a great singer. He writes great music, you know, for his genres. Really good, you know. But it just wasn't, I put this, no matter how much I kind of prodded him, he didn't jump. Mm -hmm. And I went, okay. So after a few times, you got to back off. You got to stop prodding. But now you're being a creep. You're being right. some kind of weirdo. Like, hey, man, why aren't you helping me? <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm like, yeah, smoke a joint. I'll go to somebody else. It's cool, brother. We'll still game together if you want. You know, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, deal. Michael, have you ever uh, looked into like a Roku channel or other means of broadcasting the show? Yeah, I wanted Disney to pick it up on Hulu when I did that commercial. <laughs> I, I really wish that it were this commercial I had put out. You learn so much, man, when you do fast work. You know? And it's like multitasking. Not everything was perfect, but I learned a lot, you know, a lot. <clears throat> Mainly advertising. Uh, my money is best spent on YouTube. That's not a lie. The numbers are all there. If I advertise on YouTube, those numbers, numbers will start climbing. And I'm very honest. Wait, you're advertising and, on YouTube? Yes, that's the only place I advertise. Okay. It's do Google advertising, I think. You know, I just to be honest with you, the only way I get there on the internet, I'm so old guy when it comes to this. I know computers when I build them, so that's so funny. But I go and I literally Google, you know, YouTube ads, and it pops up. I hit the link because Marty signed in. You know, I go there. I get my campaign. I'll spend maybe twenty dollars in one two weeks. My numbers will go up. Uh, my show, like yours, might be taken by YouTube as 18 and up. If it's taken as 18 and up by YouTube, then your show is going to be shown only like at night or when they're logged in. So that's, you know, cool with me. I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? right. But when I, when I advertise on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere else, the numbers were nothing like YouTube. Google got it out there. And I was, I was like, yeah, man, that's, they show you. Man. That's your statistics. It's no lie. It's right there. Wow. Look at the numbers. <clears throat> I haven't done it in a while. But the last time I did it, I think in a, in a month, I think it was between 20, 30 people signed up. So it was like a person, dollar person. <laughs> you know, so, wait, 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 wait. Because because that, that sounds real interesting to, to us because we definitely could use something like that. So. Yeah. Oh, you, you sp so it did it was it something where like you you set the 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 wage or how much you want to spend you you're not it, yes oh yes. okay yep I do like I think it's two dollars a day for you know whatever sometimes I do fourteen days it'll never spend that much believe it or not it takes a little bit for the algorithm to pick up on that okay? right it doesn't matter how many subs you've got I mean it, there's a lot of people on YouTube there's a lot of people on the platform. So it, after it picks up, after a few days, you'll see it. It'll start happening. You know, people are seeing it, they're interacting, and then the people that actually like it, it's kind of funny because you'll see it's almost as if you can see them thinking about it before they subscribe. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you'll see your views and everything go up, you know, because of the commercials, the ads you've got running. You know? Right. And it can be one of your shows, by the way. You don't have to make a commercial for you know for your show. It can be one of your shows. It's that easy. You can push anything. That's really cool. I can, I can, uh, I think I can now promote a picture. You could, I don't, you've probably noticed, like you said, people communicating with me on YouTube. Definitely. The community part on YouTube is a community tab. And you can post pictures from your show, video, partial video from your show, so your subscribers can go there and see parts of the videos. Maybe you thought were funny is, you know, something like that. And they get to go there and see that on the side. And it's just for your subs, man. So it's like, it's like a social media thing. On YouTube, they're working. Here's okay. another tip I'll give you, ladies. Now, I get these tips from YouTube people that are good because they they show up. You know, I want to see this tip. I'll go, oh yeah. <laughs> so another thing is, um, you want to. I'm so stoned. I forgot my point. <laughs> that happens. A lot. That tends to happen. <laughs> Got mental. Oh, surveys. That's what I was going to say. If YouTube asked you. Do a survey as a creator. Do a survey and be honest about how you feel. Because it seems like whenever I've done one, shit changes for me. So okay. do it, man. It's free. I mean, you know, it's only two minutes, three minutes. Tell them how you feel. If you don't like it, tell them how you feel. They're rich. 
They're rich. Exactly. Exactly. No. <laughs> uh, we appreciate that because we definitely, we definitely could use it. I mean, you know, uh, you know, we absolutely, we definitely do our best to get, you know, get the word out about our, about the podcast. But you know, a, a, a little bit uh, of uh, of advertising on on YouTube, shoe, and if it's on, and if it's something like you know, we could just you know put twenty dollars on it. We could definitely put a little twenty dollars on it. That's not a problem. I, I complained to them because my first 20 bucks didn't seem like it did much. I complained in a survey. Right. Said, I don't know why I'd use you again because I really don't feel like that first ad campaign. Next one, the next one was off the hook. I was like, wow, I guess they paid attention. Oh, okay. I'm nobody. You know, why would they listen to me? But they asked me in a survey. I told them how I felt. It changed, man. You know? Indeed. Nice. Indeed. What, so, hey, what are um, your other plans you got going that's on for what, the show? Thank you. I'm such a burnout. Look, see. And the truth is, I barely smoke. I wake up and I will do. I'll do like work or something, you know, for two, three hours. Barely sip my coffee, and then finally smoke. Just that I knew that I was going to be on with you ladies. And I was really excited, so I started smoking the shit out of them. I've done a lot today, so yeah, it's been really busy. So here's my notes. Okay. Cinema 4D is the name of the program I use. Working in this industry, man, has taught me something. Anybody that's a professional in the United States, mostly right now, stop being assholes to people. Stop it, man. You're not better than anybody else. Why is it every profession I learn? I run into a professional in that profession. You're all like stuff up. Baking, baking, you know, bakers. <clears throat> anybody can learn how to bake, bitch. So, you know, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go there. Went to school. So I'm the fuck down. 3D people. The ones that sit down and write code to make 3D. You are gods of many worlds. The ones that sit down and sculpt and just sculpt like you would clay, you're using a damn program that was made to help you. Stop acting like you're better than other people. Stop charging too much. Be cool with people. I have to say that really have to say that because I've learned a lot in this. And I won't do this. I will never treat somebody lesser than me in this business. I will treat you like, man, if you try this and you actually see a little bit, you are because it is hard to do. And all these other people that do it are assholes. <laughs> I'm not going to be like that, man. Okay? That's, that's right now I'm saying that. All right? I had to bring that up. Um, the Characters, remaking the export of the characters, having a hard time getting them out of that program, the old program, and bringing them to the new program. I kind of felt like I was cheating. Then I looked around the 3D animation world, and I noticed they all do that. They have some guys that don't want to do what I do, man. They don't even want to make scenes and sets and have people, you know, and have to worry about if you like my shit or, you know. They make a simple scene like the bridge of an enterprise, right? And they know you want it, and they sell it to you for a certain amount of money. Good it is, how well it's made. And then that's what they do in the business. They don't do anything else. So we all have our parts, you know, what we do. Right. The difference is, I use all those parts. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when I was exporting your characters, and that company didn't want to give me Pinene, when you want to talk about that 2% where you're frustrated and you're wondering if you're going to keep going, that's a big part, man. That's two seasons of a character that's been on cool as shit, she's sexy, she's cool. Ruby took her voice over and made it even better than it already was. I mean, <laughs> oh, you know? But wait, what 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 you mean that they didn't want to give you piney like like it was like it was a copyright, some some sort of copyright or something like that? They couldn't even that's the thing that's the most frustrating when it comes to this kind of thing with this company. Okay. They could not even explain it themselves. And I have what it's telling me it requires to do it. I'm going in a big circle on a picture that I see <laughs> from the computer. I got that shit circled with paint, you know, <laughs> from the paint 3D. I'm like, these are what it's telling me I need. That's like hundreds of dollars, man. Come on. I already bought the character. I paid like 60 points, which is like, you know, almost a dollar, but still I had to pay at least $10 to get points because you start at 10 and go buy 10s because you're a damn scam, right? Just to buy points to buy these things. You can't just use real money. That's a scam. 
they, they, so many things about this one company is a scam by moving away from the program. So I told them, I said, listen, I've done everything to get Piney out. I want this character. She's part of my show. Fans love her. You know, it's going to happen. One way or another, it's going to happen. All right. And they said, well, it's going to happen, but we're going to we're going to scam you. And then if we can scam you further, we're going to be. And I just went, you know, I'm standing right here on this desk, you know what I mean? And my head's down. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, damn, how am I going to do this? I can't lose her. And I said, Mike, you have some cool women avatars. And they're African. Because that's actually when I type the word African in. That's what pops up on the screen. I was big on that. Okay. okay. I have I have them, the gentleman that created the program and then their marketplace. It's just like the government when it comes to classifying races. Asian. Okay. <laughs> right. Pacific Islander. Anyway, yep. So I found one and I was very happy with her look. She's so cute. She looks like she's lit. <laughs> and I said, This is Pine. I am not gonna let them beat me. So I took her clothing. I took all of her texture. That's how deep I went with this. <clears throat> I literally had to go into all of the texture files, trans, you know, pull them over from the Pineen character into this new person. And then I gave her bigger breasts. <laughs> Beautiful Always baby. a plus. <laughs> you know, um, I'm a man. Shout out, shout out to Michael419 show. Shout out to Pineen and also Kai's character. What is Kai's character's name again? There you go. That's what I was going to bring up now. Clip. Clip. Who's actually two characters. Because okay. she's robot form with the butt on her head. And she's also the bud humanoid. She's right. funny as hell. And she I came mean, out without a problem. She, came, she exported it out of the program. I can do everything with her. She was a dream from the beginning. <laughs> right. So then... <laughs> When you're learning about this stuff, right, you can create all this stuff from nothing, okay? You literally, like that crab, you saw that little crab from my grandson? I posted right. remember oh, the video? Yeah. That was from nothing. That was from a cube, a gray cube. And I kept taking other cubes and turning them to spears, yeah. you know, and, okay, and that, that's from that. My show will not be done totally by that. The reason being is I don't have to. See, as I was looking at everything and standing back, you know, and being frustrated, I realized... Michael, you paid a lot of money for that other program, dude. You can actually do all the moves in that program, right, with the characters. What you're going to see in the commercial is what I'm telling you, okay? Every movement they make, handing a credit card, handing a bud, a giant bud to somebody to walk away from all the cool shit, the ship coming down, okay? Nine-tenths of those movements can be made in one program, one program. Export it out of that program, put into the new program. And then it makes it look better because this program's off the hook. This program is just a whole other level. So it reads those characters, say Pineen, you know. That's a good example. Her and Mercine both have a very round, thick ass, as you've seen. <laughs> and the new, oh, and shit. The new, it's true. That it's is true. so dope. Mercine's is so thick that I wouldn't show her from the side much. Yeah, because the new program rounds it out better. Nice. The new program takes our characters and puts something called polygons on. Okay? To where when you see them, they look like they've got this net, black net all throughout them. Okay. You can take those and you can add more segments to those and it rounds. <laughs> nice, nice. So, and you know what? I love that. I love that I get to be a uh, African woman in that realm, and I get to have some big ass and some big titties because it's just not the case in my reality. <laughs> I mean, shoot, and, and, and let's let's be honest, shoot. You know what I'm saying? Clip is 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 a tall woman. I've never been tall ever in my life. You know what I'm saying? And Shoot, curves, you know, shit. I got extra curves because I eat. The fuck? I eat. You know what I mean? I ain't got no time for diets and shit. Like, diets are not my friends. I, I like food. <laughs> food like me. So. <laughs> this is the only um, reason. So, so, to, to, so to live through, through these parts is, is, is like the best part. So so what? when are you planning to debut your first episode? Ooh, that's a tough one. 
that is very tough because right now I'm using a student license and I got lucky with that. Okay. Because I have the baking school uh, email and everything. And that was a real college. So mm -hmm. that transfers over and they don't even check that whether it was animation or not. Because you can, I could use it to go into animation. Now that's your school uh, ID, basically. So you can go back to school and learn anything you want. With that. Right. So <clears throat> my school is actually with their program. I don't need a professor. So that should make them proud anyway, right? But I can't, if I make the show with this, I don't own that program. If anybody ever wants to buy season three and make it with this program before I own it, I don't get any money. I could get sued. So I'm going to be very wise about this. I'm going to be so smart about it. Okay? Good. What hey, we're going to do is, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I was going to say, I have something to pitch to you. Just think about it now. Go ahead. 419 After Hours. You should make a porn version. And oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. See. After, you got, after you got, you know, the real one for everybody. You should have like a four nineteen after hours. You one know they make these characters get it on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I was looking, listen. It's funny you say that. <clears throat> when I was looking for your character to be remade, okay, I found one that was adorable, and she was. I mean, just she was almost like a rat doll. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I was like, I got to check her out. Until I read. Completely anatomically correct, meaning that that's exactly what this character is used for. Oh. And I went, so, <laughs> so here's the thing. I gotta tell you why. Okay, they're my children. Okay. Okay. Pineen, when that when I thought that she was gone, it was like you were literally, and I had to buy a child. You know what I mean, I know what it's like to do. We've talked about this the last time. I've dealt with CPS. I've seen people, you know, I know what it's all about, right? In real life. Okay? My characters are that close to us. So that I wouldn't want a human looking at them in a life. Because you can think that. Think whatever you want. You're free to think anything you want in your mind. You just on your computer. You can take pictures of my characters, hold them up, and think what you want. It's your life. I don't care. I will not get mad at you. It is your world. Okay? <laughs> People do that. I'm cool. But in my mind, they are my creation. So I have to respect them 100% because I want the people that watch it to respect them just as well. Um, when friend says, fantastic, you know, and I just type that. In social media, and people react because that's his catchphrase. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. right. You know that if you did something to that character, if you changed him in any way that was negative, you're losing people watching your show. I they hear will you. No longer respect you as a creator. Okay. And that's the reason I didn't. And it's not as I haven't thought of that. I just want to be very honest about that. Amanda and I went, you know. All these chicks like using OnlyFans and stuff. I could bring my characters in and make them look stupid. <laughs> I mean, let me tell you something. From way back in the days, from way back in the days, I, I have, I was definitely was always a, a fan of watching the extra dirty cartoons. You know what I'm saying? When you actually get to see. You know, Mickey and Minnie doing what they supposed to do and what they should have been doing from, from way back when. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? So, so I and I refuse to believe that don't that that people even you know they wouldn't uh, in this day and time people wouldn't watch that that kind of. I mean, right. never mind the fact that you know a lot of the cartoons that are on Cartoon Network, you know, what I mean, when they get to after hours, they de they definitely go way too far to let you you know what i mean to let you know that yes that that kind of thing is accepted somewhere in the world you know what i mean people definitely watch that so but i respect how you doing it because it's like definitely. no these are my children i'm not i would never put them in any kind of sexual situations my own children couldn't shoot as far as i'm concerned they don't have sex i mean shoot i got a 25 year old <laughs> daughter i gotta pretend like she don't have sex knowing what i what i knowing what i know and knowing that I know what her boyfriend looked like. Like I know she fucking him. She damn sure. <laughs> yeah. 
like, come on now. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm her mama, so I got to be in my head. I got to act like, nah, she not really fucking. She not really fucking. But we, 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 really know. we really know she fucking. She fucking. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, you're not going, you know, you're not doing that to your kids, and that makes sense. You know what I mean? And I was honestly, half kidding, by keeping, the way. you know. No, no, no. That, Listen, don't do that, though. It's cool. It is Listen, suggestions and things like that, like I said, they've been thought of already. You know what I mean? And like like I said, they've things like this have existed for a long time. Okay? Oh yeah. So if you, you were gonna say, so what's your opinion on like you watch them, Michael? I'd go, no, I have nothing against them, like I said, ever existed. Right. I'm into I'm into if I'm gonna watch it, it's gonna be real people, they're gonna look like fucking superheroes. Because I don't wanna see me. I wanna see me, I got a mirror. You know, I can see anybody like me, normal people, I'm an amateur. If I'm literally going to take my time to watch it, they're going to look like superheroes. <laughs> <They're gonna> be- <laughs> These people put it. money into their look to look good when they do it. I'm going to watch them. <laughs> Sorry, man. It just makes more sense. <laughs> Well, you know, I just, uh, I'm a fool, so I tend to, like, go there. And, of course, you know, um, what do you do for self-care that has nothing to do with the show, nothing to do with anybody? That's tough, man, because I have been through, I go through so much when it comes to this reality all of the time. I mean, I do not perceive it the same as other people. I just don't. I don't feel it like people, you know, so, and I never have. Yeah, it's been, I've, when I talked to the Australian gentleman who I've been contacting on Instagram, I used to game with, okay? he was a really good friend of mine, he's in Australia, and the one thing I always said to him is, you know, like all the great shit I've done, and you know, he'd go, man, you're so blessed, and I go, okay, well, look at all the shit in my life that's happened to me in my family, and, you know, the tragedy, to me, so many of them, right, and I go, but look at all the great shit that's happened, so much of it, right, <laughs> and could have been better, it was kind of stopped because of moderation, right? But it could have been better. It really could have. Okay. It's tit for tat, man. That's the catch. So if you're gonna if you're gonna be blessed, you better be ready to get smacked by this universe. I know this. Mm-hmm. Been alive, damn. Okay. So my take on it, on anything like that question, is so usually off because I believe in the sin theory. <laughs> you know what I mean? So health, I go. One month, I'm like, man, I just want to eat whatever the hell I want. I don't care if I have a heart attack. <laughs> and I'm done. You know, I'm, I'm going to animate, but then eat. And then the next month, I'm like, Mike, no, you don't go to doctors because I don't do Western medicine. You know, I just want to eat right and stuff like that, which is, by the way, very hard to do if a partner that doesn't need to eat right. That's mm. very hard to do because you're forcing them to eat shit that they don't need to eat to eat whatever they want. So now it becomes not dieting, but moderation. And so that was how I started taking care of myself better. I said, I'm going to do this right now. And, uh, worrying about Amanda as I get older makes me work out like you would not believe for a two-year-old man, okay, who has the okay. ailments that I probably have, Because right? no one can do a plank. I can do planks. I used to do them for like a minute. When I did one about three months ago, I led from my navel. Look that up. That's good. That's like... That's like should not happen. Really bad. Okay. Now it hasn't happened since. But I know when I moved this in here because I did it all by myself. Everything in this apartment. I, I injured myself in a few areas, you know, probably like a hernia. There's you know, some things that happen. I pulled some things. Okay? So when it comes to keeping myself healthy, I have to be honest with you, it's not for me. It's for everything else in my world. Let's just say it's for you guys. It's for the dogs. It's for, my, it's for the show. You know, it's for anybody that may need hope, okay? That's where I'll work out. I'll do my best to stay around, you know what I mean? But it's not for me because I just feel like, man, if you if you created all the things that, like when I create, and then you stand in your damn house 24-7, basically, and you just notice shit, okay? You start to wonder, like, you know, how important is it other than the hope? You know what you're doing, you know what I mean? And, and you deal with that all day long. So when it comes to my health, I give it to everybody else. It keeps me going 100%. Keeps me healthy, keeps me strong. 
I give I work out uh, really hard with weights. Okay. Um, I use two. You love this. I have a stair stepper, right? That's like eight inches high, mm -hmm. and I play an hour of music, rock and roll. You know, crazy. Nice. I don't want to get my neighbors pissed. All right. <laughs> so next to me over here, I'll have my computer chair. Right. Oh, uh -huh. I, is that, oh, that was Ruby. I thought that was. <laughs> uh, that was Ruby. So I got my computer chair over here, right? Right. So I put a thirty-five pound weight on this chair. That's a big weight. Okay. 35 pound weight and then two 15 pound weights next to it. And then I put two five pound weights over here. On my weed box. It's kind of like hope it's next to my weed box. When I pick them up. <laughs> anyway, now I play this hour of music. And for the first two minutes of every song, I curl 15 pound weights while I'm doing stair steppers. The whole hour I'm doing stair steppers. I never stop doing stair steppers. Okay. So after two minutes, I set the 15 pound weights down. I grab the five pound weights and I throw combos. And I just throw combos with five pound weights till the song's over. And then I rinse and repeat. So the so iTunes goes, hey man, you're done. You're all sweaty and gross. Last workout. So it stops playing music. I put everything away except that big ass 35 pound weight. And then I do bent rows 30 times each arm. One after another, set it down. And I do that five days a week. Two, three mile hike with her on the weekends or i do it seven days a week now i do that for an hour and i look after work <laughs> i'm supposed to be back to the show you're gonna see me standing here go like this hey wait what just happened what happened to the did i do something to the bounce no okay that's cool and that's what i'll do i'll say the dogs are just looking at me like what the fuck is wrong <laughs> That's funny. Um, but that's my that's my self-care. You know what I mean? Okay. That's how I take care of myself. You know? That's beautiful. I um I realize that it's okay to be selfish sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, not to where it's malicious or anything, but I do like taking selfish moments for myself. Because I just feel like the better that I feel, just you know, if I whether I'm taking a walk real quick or having right. an extra, you know, joint or something for the day, right. it just it helps me overall. So I was just very curious about that. And I think that sometimes I mean, self care isn't just for women, it's for everybody, right? So right. well with us it's it's the hike. I mean, come on, she's she's in a house behind the desk standing there like this, okay, all day looking at a monitor, like this, okay, like me, in their house with the baby. That can be, you know, a baby. You know this. We all know this, okay? Mm -hmm. So, and then she's there all week and she's dealing with this. And then I'm here dealing with this. And then we come home, we're dealing with each other. When we get on a hike, we come home, the dogs are pulling. This is just cool, you know? <laughs> Let it all go, you know what I mean? I don't care about anything. Life is beautiful, you know? That resets you. I mean, the main Monday thing... Comes, I mean, the main thing is this, that because I, I, first of all, one thing I can say, I'm going to say that I, I watch a lot of reels, a lot of shorts, a lot of different, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, videos. And, and because not only do, you know, they give, you know, you know, first of all, there's some of them are real funny, but at the same time, some of them have some jewels that you pick up on. And the main jewel that, that I picked up on recently was, first of all, you you taking care of yourself is taking care of everybody else around you because yes. in order for for you to pour into other people you got to pour into yourself first like it like it like like you can't call you can't you know tell the world and say yes the kids come first husband come first and, and job come first no 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 you come first because yep. you have to take care of you before you can take care of anything else because yeah, it's harder plain and simply it is harder to take care of everybody else when you are not healthy and that's why i do it exactly that's exactly why i do it, you know because if that's the reason hey i'm here i'm not the type that's going to make myself leave before my time comes i'm leaving the way i'm supposed to leave however the hell that is lightning bullet whatever standing here you know. Eat a hot dog, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy it. When I go, I go, but it won't Not be by my hand. I mean, unless Not a hot dog, though, Lord. Now I am gonna tell the truth. Let me I bring love this up. hot I'll dogs. Don't, don't make it over a hot dog, though. Come on, man. <laughs> I get, before, if I get bit by a zombie, I am gonna take myself out. <laughs> me too. That'll be the one time. 
You know what I mean? But that's what's up, though. And what I would like, I'll tell you something I'd like since we're sitting here talking about it. And we brought up, you know, and it's about the show and your show and working together and, and how much I love it and how comfortable I am always with you. Okay. And then Kai, Ruby, it's just, I don't know, man. I just feel like we're family. That's how I felt since the first time I even chatted with you, you know. When I talk to you on the phone, it, it's just so natural. I'm you know, just texting you. It's not a problem. If it's been a week or something, I'm like, hey, it's like with one of my family members. Same thing. You know what I mean? I've been busy. What's up? This is <laughs> Shit, let me tell you something. We, I, I, I don't know about Ruby, but I know for sure when you did the, uh, did the cartoon version of uh, of our interview and then you include not only did you include the blooper way we was talking to your man i mean because seriously we was just talking to him and it was like and he was sitting there <laughs> pretending and then he couldn't he couldn't keep up the pretense and you and then you had that whole shit i was like oh this is funny as hell this is funny as hell no now that no i like that work. though let me tell yes, you something the, that was that some work was, that was a winner i'm gonna tell you that right now <laughs> that Plus was a twerking I, job i lie that was and this should be you know this shows how much fun we had on that show really it's a testament mm -hmm. Uh, when I did the, the Who's Smoking First, my version of Abbott and Costello's Done First, it was very hard to do because you're taking these two guys and all separately, you know, and his is a little fuzzier and not clean because, you know, I didn't send him out you know, my car, right? So, right. You know, I'm working with these two people and it was pretty tough. Now I'm working with Amanda, myself, Kai, Ruby. I've got all of us talking, laughing over each other, man. And I'm listening to it the first time going, what the fuck did I get myself into? What? <laughs> How? Did, so now I look like this big time. I look like Dr. Dre, Snoop. Any of the ones you've seen with all the, you know the the mixed tracks going everywhere? Uh -huh. I got the fifty inch. I got the one on below me. Up, tracks everywhere, right? And I'm that's what I'm doing. I'll go. Okay, so here's what it is. I'm just gonna go with it. So say Kai introduces the show, and she got the music. I'm like, and that's how it's going to start, man. That I'm just going to kind of flow. Like, I'm going to use that music that ladies play at the beginning as kind of like a, a theme to how I feel. Like, just flow. Oh, you got to thank, you, you got to thank Ruby for that. Cause that's, that's literally her song that, I know. And, 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 I know. and I don't even remember how we decided that we was going to use that as our theme song, but it was just like, she sent, I think she sent me the video and I was like, wait a minute. This is a fly song. Why the hell it's, we not using you. this as our song? Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. And that's when I thought, now I can have you ladies dance. You know, I can have your characters dance. You know I mean? Oh my God, that was the funniest too. Cause like, cause literally you had Ruby twerking the fuck out of her ass. And yep. I'm standing there looking at her like, okay, girl. <laughs> I'm yep. dancing a little bit, but I'm looking at her like, okay, girl. <laughs> You doing you doing a little bit of lot like you selling something you now, taking it like you selling it. I don't understand. But okay. we we, you we haven't hung out in like real life or anything. Oh, okay, but let me ask you this: even though we haven't hung out, was I wrong? No, no. I, no, no. you was all point. You was all fucking point. I ain't gonna lie, cause I I be I would be cause at sure, especially me. I'm at a party. I'm like I'm. You know, I'm basically just, you know, I'm chill, I'm doing yeah. for New York yeah. cuz in New York that's what in New in half yo, that's what thugged out New Yorkers do. We stay <laughs> staring at everybody. We making sure we we check anybody that's arguing. That's right. as soon as there's an argument, that means guns about to bust out so you And what was Ruby doing? Out. You got it. Ruby was visiting, no. right? So, yes. <laughs> Mop the floor <laughs> with you that know, ass. You know what I mean? As soon as we get to our soul, we be like, oh, that's my jam. We might do a little extra, but yep. we still watch it. Everybody like, uh-uh. Hold up. Go, Somebody man. arguing over there. We don't, uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I see he, he touching his waist. We got to go. We got to go. He touching his waist. We got to go. But, yes, and Ruby would be just like, I don't give a fuck. This is my motherfucking shit. Fuck all that shit. Fuck all that shit. I don't give a Why is somebody arguing? Fuck them. We'll, I'm going to keep dancing until it's time to bust shots. I'm going to keep right. dancing until I hear so the motherfucking amazing. shots. <laughs> Thoroughly and, enjoyed that. You know, you have to understand... It really is such a cool feeling to see this come together. 
on my TV, you know, because mm-hmm. you just, you know, you're, you do this work and, and you've seen it so many times over and over, right? And you think that, that it's going to be kind of like a condition. Some points, I don't want to see this song again. Get it away from me, right? Mm-hmm. So you would think it'd be like that, but it's not. Once I get that bit down perfect, I play it through. I just sit there staring. I'll walk up. Amanda, watch me. I'll walk up like I'm a zombie to the TV and kind of like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, just kind of, I guess it, maybe it's a gloat. I don't know. It's a proud feeling. You know? It really is. It's pride. It's 100% pride, man. You walk up and you see what characters doing. Okay, so when I did the lips, I just put up recently. That's how I felt. On Instagram, one little green guy that you both saw. It was a test on the lip sync for the new program. Okay. That's how that kind of shit, man, when it works out like that. So I'm going to have your characters talking using that same type of lip sync. And when I go in, this is what I mean about the assholes that work in industries. I go into their forums, right, to chat with them. And I go, hey, man, I'm having this problem. I'm using this program and it's new to me. Okay. But I know how to use it. You know, I am working with the tutorials. I was just curious is there another say, plugin or app? you can use to make the lip syncing happen in this program because it doesn't seem to have, that's the one thing it doesn't have built in. Simple. You have right. to find it. Ocean, and I don't want to do that. I've done claymation, I'm done with that shit. I, you know, we're further than that into the technology area. And they go, and this is the first thing one of these guys says to me. Learn 3D animation. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I got to put it to you like that, man. But it takes my blah, 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 blah. that's all I saw. My eyes, you know, this guy's a dick. You know? I go, hey, man, explain something to you. I did claymation. What you do is a joke to me, okay? Because I want you to take that camera. I want you to put an X on the floor and have the lighting in that room. Perfect. Because let me tell you something. If the lighting changes in the room for one second, your entire show is gone because it'll flash. You can't fix that. That's not a freaking animation program like you. That's you, a camera, and clay that you're forming and walking up and doing this with. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I'm not doing that, okay? We're further. So don't talk to me. I have more experience when it comes to stop motion. Okay? And then I came back and I said, just so you know, I did find a way to do it. And there are other ways to do it. And here they are. This is how you do it. So see, you didn't have to be an asshole. To me. You were wrong. To me. All you want to do is be like, I know how to do it. You don't, so I'm better than you. You know what I mean? That's exactly what I got from you immediately, right? You don't have to be like that, man. You could have just went, this is really harder than you, th- than you think it's going to be. This is a very complicated process, you know? Mm. I hope you look into it further because this might not be something you want to get into if you think that the lip syncing is going to be a problem. These are the types of ways you could come off if you really don't think the person, you know, has the skill or... You know, to let them know that they're going to have a problem with this. Right, let me right. tell you something, ladies. In five minutes, I had a solution because I don't play those games with that type of people. I won't. Hey, I won't. and that's how you got to be about when it when it comes to what you believe in. You can't you love. let the, the the naysayer just tell you no, and you just go, okay, no. You you find a way to shut them down. As, as soon as like, no, I found uh, somebody that said yes. Like, that's the name of the game. I found somebody to say yes. No matter what it is, and no matter what you're right. doing, you know, that's I mean? no right. matter what you believe in, whether, whether it's you trying to find a job or you, you know what I mean, or you're trying to make your art be something bigger than it is. The, it could the, be you want to be the best fryer at McDonald's. I tell you no, and you just be like, okay, cool. Nah, you got to right. keep going until you get the yes. That's how everybody had to do it. Everybody had to do it that way. So you got to keep going until you hear yes. Because you know you believe in And there's no reason for professionals anymore to not... We're in a world where we can all communicate just like this. There is no reason for us to be jerks to each other. We're professionals. We can work together. Now, you don't don't have to give things away for free. If you want to teach me something, there are websites like Udemy, UD. EMYK.com, where people go on from any profession and they do tutorials and you pay for them. Mm-hmm. They make the money. Okay. You want to make that money? Go ahead. I will pay you 
train me in what I need if I think you have that skill. Right. You're not going to act like you're better than me. That is never going to happen. We're going to stay on an equal level the whole time because we're both professionals. You're making money off of me, so I can go do what we do with my money, help other people. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. all yeah, the money in the world is not yours. <laughs> It is not yours. Exactly. And it's really a refreshing to see your um, your outlook be mm -hmm. as lighthearted and play, you know joyous as it is. And I oh, think wait, Ruby, just... you did this to me. Wait a minute now. I'm not going to take full credit. Okay, you ladies put me in this mood before I came on this show. I am in a fabulous one. I know the second you ask me to come on your show, it brightens my whole world. I'm not going to lie about that. So my extra attitude tonight... I kind of prepared it because I was like, man, this is awesome to hang with them. Yeah. Again. It's so it's fascinating. <laughs> and we had to bring you back. We want to talk to a lot of repeat people, although we can't get to everybody. There are some people that definitely uh, we have to come back to get the update on, whether it's, you know, and yeah, get them all up in your shit, like Kai said. Yeah. So and the fact so is, it's like, it's just like we were saying before, not only do we want to bring you back, not only just because, uh, just to hear updates, but we also want to make sure to, to let you know that, you know, if you didn't know that you got people behind you that, that want to see your show, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and no up like question them, like in my else, mind. We definitely want your show to come up. You know what I'm let saying? Let me be very but, clear about this. I believe you. You don't ever have to say that to me. You, neither of you, ever, ever have to ever say that to me again. I don't care what kind of mood I am, what kind of world I am, what kind of simulator I'm visiting. I will always remember you two as the people, human beings on this world that respected me for my work and let me respect you for your work. And we communicate. Oh man, I, it, no doubt. Such a pleasure, man. And, and that's, what's so you know, that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. We love you. You are the reason. <laughs> you too can take credit for this. I'm not kidding. For the reason for me looking into a better computer system to really push out some solid stuff. Okay. I mean, you were the reason. You gave me that. I said, man, I, I want to work. I want to push harder. I wanted, Amanda, we need to pay some bills off. And you know, we're moving and stuff so that you mentioned the timeline earlier. Now I will give you kind of a timeline. In August, our lease is up. Our daughters were in a place. It's like a quad place. It's still a big-ass giant place for people. You know. Okay, so just before, <laughs> it's on the ground. It's so nice, man. Our dogs have a little lawn out front, you know. Um, it's a two-bedroom, so it's big. I get an office. One of the rooms oh, is going to be wow. about 419 nice. studio, so now you're understanding a little more. Yeah. Uh, and then, we're hoping at that point, because we've been doing really good with catching up on the credit, when we take a little loan, we'll be paying it off immediately. We've got the bigger ones, and that's what we're trying to get to solely, right? And when that does happen, that's when my workstation comes in. Now, that's not important for the next season, because I can do that. I can start it on this. But having the new place is an option. Very important. Because I'll have a room, man. My, my TARDIS will be in a room that's bigger, you know, on the ground. And it's just it's just a hundred percent better for the show. That does not mean I won't be putting anything out until then. Are you crazy? I'm gonna be not, I'm about to put out a super professional commercial. I hope knocks everybody's socks off, all right? And then after that, we're gonna do some skits. And if you have time, I'll show you ideas. I'll say, do you like this? No, it'll be just like a few minute skit, just happy. We can't make no money off it because I don't own the program, so I'll never lie about it. I can't either. But what we can do is we can show them the new program, right? But see, right uh, now, that's the best part because it's not about the money. Because we, even with us, it's not about the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's about getting the word out and, and, and you know what I mean, developing the craft and getting people behind us. You know what I mean? Right. Because right. half yeah. the time, half the time, you know, half the time, that's how you, 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 we, we've gotten our subscribers. You know what I mean? I'll go to an event and I'm talking to somebody. They'll tell me about their business. And here I go. I'm going to automatically be like, hey, have you checked us out? Because, you know, you should be checking us out. And, right. and of course, so, so one hand wash the other, both hands wash the face. You know what I mean? It's all about that. It's and you got to create, you know what I mean? Until it gets to the point where you, you get to charge people for shit, 
you know what I mean? It's all about networking. It's all about getting the word out right. and being places because that's how half of these places got it got, you know what I'm saying, got famous in the first place by first getting the word out on, on some free shit and then right. get to the point where they can actually charge people for shit. And, and now you know I bought that heat press to make t-shirts. Right. Okay? And I was gonna do my own ink there. But Elevate Crate, who I love those ladies too, they are amazing. Okay. You guys need to get them on the show if you can. They are so cool people. Okay? So they go to me, hey, you know you're having problems like with the print? Check this place in Pompano Beach, Florida out. This company, I think they charge for two, three color prints, which is damn nice, right? For the transfer. Uh -huh. This is the actual iron-on transfer sheet. You're buying a hundred of them. Your logo, ready to go, $25. They ship like in a couple days. They were cheap. And now... More intense the logo, they cost a little more. But you're talking about if you own a heat press, which you can get for like 150, 160 bucks, a professional like I have, really good. Right. Heat press, okay? Then you're, you're at your house, you're hanging out, right? I could literally be doing the show. Have the transfers here, the t shirts there, right? Because once you get it, lay the t shirt down, you put the transfer on it, you hold the thing down. It's got to sit for probably like 24 hours, you know what I mean? Because they cure what happens. Okay. Then so I keep doing that. These are the t-shirts I'm going to be giving away and then selling. And that was Elevate Crate that hooked me up with this company. So if you want, I can hook you up with that idea because they are cheap. They're a good company. They communicate with you right away. They're very professional. And they're on, uh, I, they're on the East Coast. So you'd be perfect with them on the time, you know, they're in Florida. But um, <clears throat> that's one of the things I'm going to be doing is the t-shirts. You know, making sure that fans get them. And like you said, that's right now is about building. Not just networking, but building your shit. Exactly. So they're going to see new animation. They're going to see a commercial that shows them this new animation and talks about it. It's going to be pointed out specifically. Hey, man, pay attention. Don't just listen to this on your damn TV. Look. Look over at it. This shit's pretty cool, man. And I'm going to build a whole season out of this, and we're going to see how it goes, and we're going to have so many fun adventures and stuff. And until then... I'm going to make them wonder. They're going to see skits. They're going to see little things happening. Oh, what the hell is that? Wow, wow, that's cool. Okay, so people might disappear. They might, I don't know. This could be three to five minutes where I'm fucking with you. That's right. what I'm going to do until I get the show back on, you know? And there's going to be, um, I think, a big part of what I do, my part, like animation and stuff like that, and being a studio mystery, Literally, there has to be a little bit of mystery about what's going to come. I can't. I don't want to give them everything. I don't want to throw in a commercial. A lot of times, you'll notice this when a show puts out a commercial about the new season. It almost has like scenes from every show in it. Right. You know that's going to be coming out. Right. They tell the whole story in the preview. You're going to learn about the people you're going to get to see in the show. That's what I'm going to give you. You're going to learn. That's you're going to see what's going to build cool a subscribership. That's yeah, exactly right. what's going to build the subscribership because, you, you know what I mean? Because, you know, if, especially if you use things like the shorts, because that's one yeah. of the things where we've been using at, on our channel and my own personal channel. The, I have know, noticed dropping that. Little, little things on shorts or just having little little clips on shorts, you know what I mean? That gets people to, to, to automatically, you know, pay attention to the channel, subscribe to the channel, you know what I mean? Yes. Check out the channel either way. You know Plus you're hilarious and you're funny to watch. I love watching you as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael, what show other than yours are you hooked on? Because I'll name, well, I, there's a couple of shows that have my attention. Okay, uh, so you right say? now I had to kind of put myself in check because I'm such an American dad fan. I, dude, that's all you watch. It's ridiculous. You can't just do these comedy like that. You know, I know you love them and they are great, but you need to look other shows you started watching. Now, one of them that they are very good about putting out the episodes is Lower Decks from Star Trek. They are very, you know, this is no bullshit. It's not for children. You're going to hear cursing. You know, this is adult Star Trek. Okay? Mm -hmm. They take showers together, even though you don't see nothing. But, you know, things are implied. There's, they get sexual and everything on this show. So they, they're not afraid. Or they don't show nothing. But they'll insinuate heavily. So you're like, wow, they they're giving you what you never saw on a Star Trek. You know, which right. I wanted. And it's hilarious. It's so funny. And okay. Beckett Mariner is the, the main cast. Uh, this is uh, 
her and her mother. Her mother's the captain of the ship. Okay. And if you want to get blunt about how Star Trek does it, just like in Discovery, you have an African captain, you have her African daughter, okay. And her daughter is man. I'm in love with her. Amanda will tell you, I love Beckett. I love I love the actress. I love the voice actress. I love the character. I am in love with this young girl. It's just so cool. She does it just <laughs> she learns, you know, her lessons, uh, the way she treats her friends. She just is so you can tell that not just the voice actors, but writers really love these characters. Uh -huh. So I said, Michael, you need to every time you sit down and watch TV now when you're eating, which is just the only time, like lunch or dinner, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, maybe. Or when I go to bed at night. Goes on, I pass out. But I watch it for hopefully an hour. Now it's lower deck. Because let me tell you. The stuff they do and the stuff hidden and then the stuff where they pay like homage to the old show, like the original series or Voyager. Yes, not. You know? It's heartwarming. It's it's just really cool, you know? Right. And if I get into another Star Trek, like Discovery, it's not so cool because they cry too much and they feel too much and it's too woke. And I'm, like, I'm sorry. You guys can have that. It's cool. I love you. You're all beautiful. <laughs> you know? it's good. This is not for me, man. It's a little weird. I'm not used to seeing Kirk like people be all, oh, I love you. Oh, man. Stop. I hear you. Go have sex and get it the fuck over with. She's an alien. It's okay. It's okay that she's green. It's okay. She got antennas. Use them. She probably likes that shit. Tweak them. You know, do something. Oh, right. you know, don't, don't hug her for an hour. Don't fucking hug her crying, talking about your fucking problems. Don't do shit. <laughs> I hear you. Awesome. I'm pretty stuck on um, Godfather of Harlem. And Ooh, nice. I really I really like this show called Your Honor. Um, I forget his I've name, but he's the, uh, he's the actor in Breaking Bad, the teacher. Yes. Okay. Phenomenal acting. And I just, um, I don't know. And then, like, I switch it up because I also like, like, Real Housewives of Potomac. That's the only one I watch. I really like, though, <laughs> I still really like that you mentioned that you watch a show. Um, Amanda has a few. Like, you know, uh, like, say, if, she, if we have Prime at the time, you know, she likes Lord of the Rings and stuff like that, fantasy. Okay. Or she is very big on normally. The show's oh, about what? death, unsolved mystery types, you know, or murders for the hours, you know, things like that. But they used to be CSI. They became okay. real. Okay. And to okay. me, that's okay. But when you sit there binging that shit all the time, it's just boring. It's like half the time I can talk to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that, it, no? it, 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 it becomes repetitive. It becomes repetitive. And it's like, and, and, and to me, it's like they, they keep coming out with different versions. Like the, the latest version that I saw that actually that they, they were actually taping in my neighborhood was was uh something about the cops of East New York or something like that and I was just like okay. yo they actually decided to to come to East New York and actually tape this fuck shit and you know what I mean but 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 as Listen, far as TV when you shows I mean I, I'm kind of flaky you know what I mean because it, it's like it, 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 it's like I, I'll just get on the TV and just scroll and just watch what I want. I mean, I do definitely talk about, uh, I definitely watch Real Housewives of Potomac and I talk about that shit. All I know, because I see that on Instagram. I definitely yeah. talk I about that, that shit because the fact is, the, 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 to me, the, yes, I know it's scripted, but at the same time, I just be like, yo, y'all is just, y'all really, y'all really do right. this. Y'all really do this. <laughs> like, how much money you get paid to do this? Like, you know, but see, so you have course, to say, I'm I gotta cool with talk that about it. You know what I mean? I mean I'm sure like, your husband, Kai, you know, if, you, if your husband you know, knows that you watch that or something, he's probably cool with it. I was cool with the man to watch it. Oh, no, no pl trust me, he can't stand watching that shit. He, no, 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 I didn't <laughs> say. Oh, all, all he give a fuck about is football and basketball. It's no, 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 no I get that. He'd be like, well, did, where's the game? But he I likes that you're watching it. Hell no, I wasn't watching no motherfucking game. Fuck out of here. He's like, listen, I'm going to tell you. Because when I'm here by myself, I get to watch what I want to watch. The fuck out of here. Your drama, don't you understand? You, that's why I loved when Amanda watched those shows. She didn't watch them anymore. I loved when she watched the Housewives shows because it's she got yeah. all of it. It's him. Get, watch all you. I don't want to see none of that shit. I don't want to hear it. 
do. It's just so different you from our watch lives. All you can fucking watch, exactly. all right? Right. It's Abby so Bryant. different. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm more of a scroller. I'm definitely more of a scroller. And to be honest, I like when I scroll because that's when I bump into shit that I've never seen before. Like, cause because first of all, because of watching, you know, the whole real housewives, you know, situation. I didn't yep. realize that on Netflix, or, well, not even on Netflix, but on, yeah, matter of fact, on Netflix and Amazon, they had their own little Real Housewives of, uh, uh, of uh, it, like, it was like some kind of African show, and, and, and it was like, it was just like one of these little African towns, and it's just like, the luxury of these people just had me like, African whoa. Empire, I think. Like, whoa. Yes. And then, and then there was another one that it was just like a total, like, uh, a series of movies but it was but it was about just uh, just rich africans that were that lived in london and baby the accents put together had me like oh yes i want to see this and then uh, the <laughs> other day i actually bumped into a couple of movies that I oh that the the person who directed these movies was actually somebody I knew like in 2013. Wow. So it was just like, wait a minute, you got movies on Amazon? Lord have mercy, and that was up. I am loving to see the growth. Yes, indeed. So see, and that's scrolling always helps me find new shit that I don't that I didn't even know existed so that's so but Kai that, listen that, I'm gonna give you some that, that's serious I, advice I man. when I watch your voice you know both your voices but your voice is so perfect when it comes to anything you do in your it is. everything because you do them a lot now Ruby you're a singer Ruby so the vocalist you're kind I'm of not a singer I'm a rapper <laughs> <laughs> I've heard your voice. You know how to alter your voice when you do your rap, and you do it perfectly. You know what you're doing. Those are notes. I don't give a shit what anybody says. <laughs> Change your voice in a conversation, you're changing notes. All right? So that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I, what you'll notice, because of Kai's role, you know, with Clip, her parts are always more like just boisterous, more fun, more flamboyant, more everything, you know, because of Clip. Clip is that way, you know? Right. She was a crazy ass robot, bud. Now she got to, <laughs> she can be real, you know? So your voice is so perfect. And that's why I suggest that you should definitely find something. Maybe one of your, you, know, you have a teenager, right? Don't you have a teenager? Yes. Oh, perfect. Ask your teenager one of the. One of the animated shows, it doesn't have to be crazy, it doesn't have to be wild, you know, something they may watch that may have someone with an attitude like you do, like your character does, because you're so good at it. And then you should keep doing it because, man, you just don't understand. It's such a big thing right now, boys. Right. I mean, and people can make money, and if you can both do it, you should, you know, and you should push that. You know what I mean? It's right. it's difficult. It can be hard, but listen to them. Find something. Now, I, I don't have to say this to Ruby because she just told me she's doing different shows. And if she, even if they're not animated, they're characters. Mm -hmm. They're character being played, and you're seeing someone put something into it. Their voice, body, their actions, right? But right. guess what? When your voice act, there's a lot of times you're moving because you're talking, right? Definitely. If you feel your character, you'll be moving. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Or else you're just gonna sound like this when you're reading your line. Yeah, nobody because, likes uh, that monotone. But, that that monotone. I'm about to, I'm about to fall asleep because you, you don't know how to put any kind of situation in your throat. You there know you what go. I'm saying? You act like you there ain't you never go. used this section of your of your face. You never used the section <laughs> of your face. No, wait a minute. So you telling me this section of your face <laughs> had any words? Okay. Look, oh one of God. my favorite people would be like the guys um, that are really good at using their face in comedy, like Eddie Murphy. Chevy Chase was good at it. Chevy Chase can make a face. You know what I mean? Eddie Murphy could do. Eddie Murphy can talk and make his face move, and it's funny. Right. You know? Uh, Jonathan Winters. I mentioned this in the last time. Jonathan Winters. He was like that. He could walk out on stage and you know be silly. You know, uh, Tim Conway from the Carol Burnett Show, the little guy. He's the same way when he did his little guy walk. And they came walking. Right. They would just die, you know? So that's important. You know, I looked up. There is something I learned since we last spoke, showing that I really do want to progress and succeed in the way that it's meant to. 
you know, where, where in this field, they have rules, believe it or not. And I know that, like uh, in animation, okay, not just 3D animation. But say Walt Disney, you know, this, this, this stuff came back from Disney, you know. I think he might have been the one to come up with it. You might find that out. Um, it's called the 12 Rules of Animation. And I didn't know they existed. Here I did two seasons of animation. I didn't even know that this whole world of rules existed to make animation sense. better. Right. And it makes it seem, when you see Mickey Mouse, you know, as he progressed over the years, you'll notice they had something called, a, it's one of the rules, it's called, it's called Squish and Stretch. Okay. And you'll notice that they bounce a lot. Especially back then, they'll be bouncing as well. Everybody's kind of bouncing. Well, that wasn't because they were trying to make fun of any type of character. <laughs> Nowadays, they throw race at it. It's like, you know what it really was? It's right. Like, it was squash and stretch because it made them look like they were more alive. Mm -hmm. So shit bounced, guys. You know, it had nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. So we Psychology. Little, you know, this little mouse. You know, I mean, his girlfriend, right? So it just, it made me laugh, but the, when you think of that, and, and funny, you mentioned me being funny, I go by rules of comedy, and there's a billion rules of comedy. There are a billion rules of comedy. My rules, as I always tell the people in Discord, uh, when we're talking in Discord, the, the voice chat, you know, but it's you, uh, just regular. And when I'm talking to them about where my comedy comes from, it's old school. I, Sanford and Son, Sanford and Son is... If the theme song alone is one of my favorite theme songs from any show that ever existed time on anything because it was one of my favorite shows that was so dear to me. Okay. What's happening? Happy days. Um, I mean, I can name, I can go even further back. Three Stooges, Laurel Hardy, Evan Costello. Um, I mean, there were, if you really think about it, a lot of the, uh, a lot of things that they, uh, that have, you know, entertained us in the past. That they're trying to remake right now, just to you know what I mean. Yeah, but they're just to you know bring back missing? you know the same type of nostalgic, or at least bring back the same type of entertainment right. value that it had but previously. They can't. They don't have the heart. You notice it's more right to me. Even with the new Three Stooges, look, you'll get it right. I'll laugh. I'll giggle. You're mimicking. That's what you're right. doing. Right. You're mimicking what they did. I don't want right. to mimic that with my characters. I want them to have those bits, those parts, and live them. It's going to be part of the show naturally. Something silly is going to happen when Roach falls down. You know, these natural things that happen. These are very important to me because that's that's getting your ass to smile. You smoke that joint. You sit out after work. You want to crack up, and I throw something at you. That's what I'm using, man, and it's from heart. It is right. not going to come from something where I'm just going, oh, you know, this guy did this bit. Like Dick Van Dyke. Would fall over the ottoman every time he walked out on the show, the Dick Van Dyke show. You trip over that ottoman on the floor, and you, if you looked up, you'd giggle. You know, okay, so now I've seen it three thousand times. I might giggle ten. Sometimes right. it's funny that I even giggle. You know, but I'm not going to mimic that fall. I'm not going to make one of my characters come out and just trip over an ottoman before the show and steal that bit directly. That's just that's robbery. That's to me, unless you're saying this is the Dick Van Dyke show. This is Dick Van Dyke as a right. character coming out. Don't do that. Okay? So, but falling is funny. So, how do I make somebody fall? That's where it starts. I like so that. The marijuana bag at the bar. You know? yeah. That's what you're. You're not. You don't even think about it normally. You know, just watching this show and these characters are doing things. And Roach is over here, and he might or might not say something to give you a little hint. It's about to happen, and then he's gonna go. Every damn time. That's his bit. And that's important comedy because you got people that, that guy I won't work with anymore. He watched every show just for that bit. That was the funniest shit to him. He couldn't wow. handle it. He loved it. It cracked him up every time. I would say, wait a minute, what about what Space Captain did? And fucking, uh, it took an hour. But see, that's what you want, though. That's exactly yes, what you yes. want. You want somebody to, to pick apart pieces of your show and say, yeah, yes, I like that part because, or I like this because, you know what I mean? That's how you know you got a true fan. You know what I mean? Yes. And, 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 she, and, and speaking of that, what's the, uh, the, the main thing? The main thing you want your fans to know about your show. Oh, man. It is not going to stop, and it's not going to stop getting better. 
It's not going right. to stop. Right. I'm gonna, this, exactly. this show, when I was on your show last night, I asked that question. It was just hope with the fear of, I don't know if I can get it to go off the ground. Right. Now there's no fear of anything. That's now it up. is. It's now it's take time and do it right. You have budgets. You got to pay shit back. Mm -hmm. You, know you got to build the credit to be able to buy the new system. Mm -hmm. You got to own the program to be able to make money to pay the people you love that work with you. Mm -hmm. These are all important steps that I am taking, and I want everybody. I tell the people, my fans on Discord, I tell them the same stuff all the time. This is what I'm working towards. If this takes off, every one of you people that back me, every one of you people that believe in me, are going to be with me in a studio somewhere we choose. It don't have to be Hollywood, man. It can be wherever the fuck we want it. Anyway. We will build our own ranch. We will have it built our way. Each one of you will have your own studio room to go on. Okay, Taylor Perry, come on now. That's exactly uh, what I'm talking about. And that's the future. That's exactly. that is where my head is right now. And now, because of the fact I know about that, that it is doable, and that this program is doable as soon as I, you know, have everything in order where it's supposed to be. Indeed, and we work move. out the kinks. Indeed, yeah. and work out the kinks. And actually, it's not you know even saying kinks. get on your funny. path and stay on your path. That's what you. That's the name of the game. You, you, you. Oh, and working out the no kinks. No one's gonna get on take your path, it. You staying on your path. Right. No one nobody can, can take it. Nobody, nobody can, can take it from you. Nobody. That's right. And nobody you, can take I gotta it thank you again. I'm gonna tell you one more thing. When this commercial comes out, I'm gonna be on Twitter again. It only is information. I told the people in Discord when I talk personally, when I rant, when I say things that shouldn't be on social media, it'll be in Discord where it belongs with the fans because they push it with it. I won't be communicating on social media. I'm not going to do that. It's going to be, if you go look at American Dad on Twitter, exactly how they run their Twitter, that is how I'm going to run it. I may go back and delete every freaking thing and then start off with the commercial. Bam! There you go. This is what's going to come out. Okay. Hey. You, can, you can like this page, you can not like this page. I don't give a shit because let me tell you something. 419 is going to be here. Yeah, okay. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. That's, That's what we're exactly talking about. what I'm talking about. And, 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 the, and at the end of the day, the name of the game is you, you're working hard and, and you're going to get exactly what you're getting based on your hard work. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm doing this, I said, because of you. You invited me to this episode. You were the ones that got me to go and go, let me go see if I can put my Twitter back on to run it the right way. So like I'm running Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, run it. You, I thank you for that. Yeah, I don't take all the credit for everything I do. I only take credit for having people like you in my life being that lucky. We appreciate that. We appreciate you. Absolutely. You. you know what I mean? You taught me. You gave me the motivation. Oh, that's, that's awesome. And that's exactly what we're here for. Because we're not only motivating you. we motivating ourselves. Trust yes. and believe. We're not only motivating you. we motivating ourselves. And, 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 you know, it's working. It's you know what I mean? Working. And on oh, Ruby, I think this is this this right here has is has been a great episode. It sure yeah. has. You know I need to go pump my breast. They're uh, starting yeah, to Yeah, because I was about to say, <laughs> wait a minute. The, the the fact that we got a whole hour in change without listening to, without hearing the baby crying, that's 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 wonderful. Cause girl, dude, I remember those days. I ain't trying to go back. Uh-uh. But on that my note, sister. motherhood sister in the motherfucking bed. Thank, love you, you. Oh, I love you, Amanda. I love you, Say hi to Amanda and keep going on your path because we all on the same path. We ain't nobody quitting. Ain't nobody dropping. Everybody you, is on the way. Thank you. you know Thank you me? for everything. Take Have a care, good night, everybody. You. See you later. Good night. All right now. Good night.